everyone, welcome back to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm excited to share this short video on creating a sunset background using just Copic markers. Now this features the new Wild and Free stamp set from Sassy and Crafty, which will be available on their website at 9 p.m. on Friday, June 4th, 2021. Now just for information, I have sped this video up six times, but this card really didn't take very long to make. I started out with layering the mountains and the trees, and I added the sentiment at the top that says, wander often, wonder always. And I'm using the Copic markers that you see here displayed on the screen, and I'll also list these in the description box below. But if you don't have these colors, you can use something similar. I'm just taking my tea ruler and I'm using that as a guide and I'm kind of working my way up from the bottom toward the top. And you'll see me going back again with the markers I've already used just to blend those colors together. I wanted to make sure that the colors that I used over the sentiment weren't too dark. So right now I'm using YR31, which is a light reddish yellow. And then I'm using the light tea rose R12 again, right above that. And now I'm applying the BV000, which is iridescent mauve. And then the next color is BV11, soft violet. And then after that, I'm adding BV13, hydrangea blue, BV17, which is a deep reddish blue. And I'm just going back in with these colors again just to make sure that they blend well. And then after this last color, I wanted to check to see how far up I needed to go with my Copic markers because I will be trimming this down so that the edge of my tree line is at the edge of the card. And so I just used one of my little infinity rectangle dies, but I ended up trimming this down to three and a half by four and three quarter inches. And so that last color there is BB99, but I end up cutting most of that off. And I want to apologize for the glare on my glass mat. I had to move my craft room back to my dining room because my um, youngest daughter decided to move back home. So I did have her bedroom as my craft room for a while, but now I'm back in the dining room, which I actually have more space in here i moved my dining room table into my living room i know that sounds crazy but <laughs> um i haven't quite figured out how to mask the lighting or to make it to where it's not glaring on my glass mat so if anybody has any suggestions leave me a comment below um i thought about putting uh, a sheet over it or maybe a light diffusing umbrella but i don't know how to attach it um and it not be in my way so anyway so back to my card, I'm working on the mountains now. I'm using the warm gray colors. The darkest shade I used W5, and then the lightest shade was W0. But I did put the darkest shade in between the trees, and I extended the lines on the mountains, and then I just kind of blended the rest together. And this is my finished card. Like I said, I cut this down to three and a half by four and three quarter, and I put a black frame around it, and then I just added a little black rhinestone there. I really hope you like this card. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, you can find additional card making inspiration on my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest pages, as well as my website at cardsbykendra.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.